Hi right guys, just a very short video on this little box. Now I've already done one video, so this is just a follow up with regards to uh, the splitter box for DJ for iPad. Quick look at what we're looking at, um, the stuff on the desk. We've got the iPad running DJ um, for iPad, uh, a pair of Pioneer headphones, the splitter box, a male to male 3.5mm stereo cable, a cup of coffee that today, trying a new brand. Um, incidentally, anything else you see on here, this control, the S4 or any other stuff on here is not being connected into this. So it's only the iPad, this little box, and the studio speakers underneath that you'll hear anything from. So, to connect up, <clears throat> now I haven't got anything fancy to make little labels. So what I've done is I've reversed this little retaining nut just so that it hasn't got the notches on, so I know it's an input. <clears throat> okay, so, wire up the output, so master out into one side, plug the 3.5mm cable into my iPad, take it round and plug that into the input side of the box. I can just put that down, grab my headphones, plug my headphones into the front of the box, job done. Right, what I'll do is I'll start some music. Right, what we're listening to is the master output now. Okay, if I start the other deck up. So everything's working as it should at this moment. Right, what I'll do is I'll stop that deck. Right, I'm gonna turn the master output down because what I'm gonna try and do is show how this box is splitting the signal. Okay, what we have is, we've got left and right cans, yeah, which we're all aware of. The master output is coming out of the right hand headphone. Okay. Now as I turn the pot, the little knob on the little splitter box, you won't be able to see both I'm afraid. What it does is it turns the sound volume down on this left hand headphone. Okay, if I start the other deck, see on the sorry on the right hand headphone, on the left hand headphone we've got the Q channel. Bring that back up. You can now hear there's Q and master. I'll turn the main volume up just to clarify. Okay, so what we've done is we've split the channel, we've split the headphone queuing system into a left and right. Um, you often find this on some mixers where you can have you can blend the two, both headphones. But unfortunately, DJ for algorithm doesn't have that ability at the moment. Um, so what we're doing is we're using the alternate method and that's playing the Q channel in the left hand headphone and the master channel in the right hand headphone as well as sending the master channel out to the main speakers. So we can use the headphones. No, I'm not trying to beat match them, just messing around. It's easier when you've got the headphones on your head. Okay. Now I'll turn the main volume up. Obviously what we can hear is we can hear the track on this deck. And then we've got the master deck. Okay, they do swap over in the headphones when you move the crossfader. Okay. Right, um, that's it, but let's have a quick look at the box in a little bit more detail. The actual wiring in here is very simple. What we do is we've got so we've got an input, an output, and an output. So what we do is we take a ground to all four of these units. So there's a ground, the ground runs from the input to the outputs and also to this potentiometer, which is a single gang linear um, 10K. We then take the left hand input from the input socket and send it directly to the master out and we send it to the inputs or one of the inputs on the potentiometer. It then travels across to the right hand output for the headphones. The reason for the right hand output for the headphones incidentally is my headphones are left hand biased, the, the cable comes out the left hand side and I like to cue, have the cue in my left ear and the master in the right. <clears throat> so left hand channel goes to all of these outputs and the pot the right hand channel, which is the Q channel on the input, just goes directly to the headphone out and it comes into the le it goes it eventually ends up in the left hand earphone. The connectors are just simple 3.5mm stereo connectors bought from Maplins. 
the potentiometer and the knob again from Maplin's and the box again from Maplin's. The box was about five pounds the 3.5mm stereo connection or sockets, chassis sockets are about pound each the potentiometer is about a pound I think the knob was about two pound fifty because I wanted a nice alloy one. So that's the little box. Alright then, cheers. Bye.